Hey there, fellow travelers. It's your favorite culture and travel host, Romori, and I'm here to introduce you to a unique and fascinating cultural practice in the Efik, Oron, and Ibabio tribes of Nigeria. We are talking about the fattening rooms. Yes, you heard me right. Fattening rooms. And no, it's not a place where you just go to gain weight. It's actually a tradition that has been passed down through generations, where young women are sent to gain weight and prepare for marriage. Now, before we go any further, I want to make it clear that the fattening rooms tradition is controversial and has faced criticism over the years. It is also not as popular anymore. However, it is still a significant part of the cultural heritage, and we are here to learn about it. The fattening rooms tradition is all about preparing young women for marriage. In these tribes, a larger body size is seen as a sign of beauty, fertility, and good health. So, families would send their young daughters to fattening rooms to gain weight and become more attractive to potential suitors. I know what you're thinking. Sign me up, right? But, hold on, it's not as easy as it sounds. The women in the fattening rooms are fed a diet of rich, calorie-dense foods to help them gain weight quickly. And let me tell you, the food of the Efik, Oron, and Ibabio tribes are renowned as being the most delicious in Nigeria. But, there's a catch. The women are not allowed to exercise or do any physical activity while in the fattening rooms. They have to stay in a confined space, mostly indoors, and rest as much as possible to gain weight quickly. I have to admit, the thought of being confined to a room and eating delicious food all day does sound tempting. But, at the same time, it sounds a bit challenging. During their stay in the fattening room, the girls are kept away from family members and friends, the only visitors allowed are the elderly women in the community who come to pass on instructions on acceptable social norms and marital etiquette. They are also given all-around beauty treatment from head to toe, using the native chalk and other natural massage oils. The training and beauty therapy is carried out over a period of one month or more. Despite the controversies surrounding the fattening room's tradition, it is still a significant part of their cultural heritage. It is a testament to the importance of physical appearance in these cultures and the lengths families were willing to go to prepare their daughters for marriage. So, there you have it, folks. The fascinating world of fattening rooms. If you ever find yourself in Aqua Ibom or Cross River states in Nigeria, take some time to learn about this unique cultural practice. Like this video and leave a comment on where you would like us to visit next. Until next time, fellow travelers.